Alrighty, okay. okay. Hopefully, hopefully we get through before the plumber comes, so let's just get on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're giving me the hurry along there, sunshine. Oh, I don't know, I just take my time. <laughs> no, cool. Oh, right. good. All right. Yeah. We're going to do the beautiful butterfly. Beautiful butterfly, right. Because I'm going to give you a new piece after this one, a new pedal piece. Okay, so. Just a little bit harder. Actually, these are all on that side, aren't they? Yeah. 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 So. I've done better in practice. Yeah, but that, that's all right. That's all right. Your, your, your pedal was working pretty well there. I was still a Just bit slow that on one. there. I, and that, yeah, that was yeah. a bad one there. That one, I thought I got that one right. Did I not get that one right? Oh, I thought you missed that one. Ah, yeah. It's the it's the going down at the same time as the notes coming. Sorry, the pedal came up at the same time as the notes coming down and going down against the problem. Do just throw up one more time? Yeah, right. One one more time. All right. All right. So. Yeah, but the, the your left hand D kind of went whoop. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about it. I think didn't I? Uh, <laughs> um, now you know that it's coming. Um, just gently put that finger down. Because the slower into the key, the softer it'll be. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and very, very floaty. Floaty. Imagine sort of water. Butterfly. I gave it a big build up in my intro. <laughs> I said I'd, I'd, I'd actually done a couple of runs and I said it was rocking real good. <laughs> well, you can always. And last week I said it was probably only a week away from being finished, well, and that's worse. <laughs> um, I am going to retire. call it done. Yes, yeah, we'll, call it we'll, quits on this we'll one, right? Retire it because yeah. I have a brand spanking new one that's a step up right. for your pedal. Okay. And your reading. <laughs> we'll save that to the end. All right. Let's do. Go. Right, I haven't been able to play these hands together yet. What? Yeah. What? I don't know. Yeah, slacker. I know, it's a bit surprising, oh. isn't it? Yeah. That's all right. right. That's all right. Let's do it again. Right, okay. Well, I've, I've been mastering this top bit, right? Okay, cool. So, um... Nope. 
Sorry. So it's not the plumber. <laughs> right. Um. That's out the same, same way. way. And, and this is one of yeah. this. And then it's the shift. Yep. So after you've done that, yeah. just basically get your whole hand into yeah. your new position. Yeah, my issue with that's not actually getting my hand into a new position. It's actually remembering the fingers after it gets back up to there. It's this bit here, this transition oh, okay. here. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've got to be on C with my thumb. And then there's a crossover or something, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's the bit I've, I've been having a bit of trouble with. Right. Let's isolate that then. Let's go straight in on that one. You're three on your D. So three on there, so. Right. And just watch out there. After your G, you're going to go straight up to your B flat. Did I miss it, did I? Ah, right. Ah, okay. uh, that's the, the extra key I did, is it? And then that. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. So, oh, where's, so, where's one that one, one there? Where's so, one? so there, you go straight from B flat to G, mm -hmm. and then straight to Back B to flat again. again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's got there. No A's. Yeah, because you've done the A's and the other one, haven't you? That's why it's remembering. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. yeah. It's a That's tricky one. one. It's a trick in the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so we're starting here again. Right, so it's. Yep, yep. Thing, so it's um... And it's back to that again. Third finger, yep. Yeah. Let's put it with the bit before. So head back to that one. Um. Yeah, um, you're good. You're good with your dotted rhythms, actually. That swing rhythm. I haven't actually been practicing this much. Most most of my practice has been that first bit. Yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. Because <coughs> that's that's harder. Um, just when you're doing this stuff, just be careful not to have your thumb sort of overhead come on. Um, just 
just be careful not to have your thumb hanging down off the keys like that. Okay. Where should the thumb be? Right. Okay. Yeah. Except that I can't get my fingers between the keys like you can. Oh. Okay. Well, if. So, which means I've got to have my things like that in order to have the thumb over it. Okay. You don't want it too far away. That's the main thing. If you have to have it slightly off, then mm. have it slightly off. Yeah, you don't want to be full. Yeah. Um, but, for instance, when you come to use it, that's fine. If it's miles away, oh, you've got to oh, get it back right. up. What about some music here, by um, So, music? for instance, down here, where you've had your... Now, if your thumb's miles away like that, yeah. you've got to get it up into position. Whereas if it's yeah. already over it, you're, you're nicely prepped. That little bit, yeah. go for your third finger rather than two. So I did the second one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for three on that one. Right. Shall I put a circle? Oh, oh. Oh, there. Okay. Okay. All right. Pretty darn good. Well done. All right. Let's check out your left hand. Okay, left hand should be easier. Left hand should be easy. So if you do the left, I'll do the right. So if we go, um, so hang on, a G, isn't that's it? A G. And yep. It's going to be that G there. So. Yep. So those little bits in there, you've got your C goes up, and then. As you're talking about your hand, right? The right hand. Uh, no, your your left it's hand. All oh, right, okay. In there, so basically it's got the C, C sharp, yeah. D, da, 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 yeah. and then just reverse it back, D. D oh, okay, flat, right. So, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Is that the same back down in here as well, is it? That one is your little chromatic pattern. So they are all next door. And then just oh, a okay. scale heading down. So once you're on that G, you yeah. know you've got to go bum, 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 bum. Right. And then da 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 da. Okay. Bottom. All right. Okay, so let's put... Um, just a wee bit of that together. So here's together. So from the second half, yep. Right, so starting there with G. G. So let's do that. Cool. All right, and we're going to need to have that up on D. Very good. Right, so. Straight, just to get your coordination. Sorry to be straight. So doing the quavers even, rather than... Oh, if right, you, if okay, you're just right. working out right, okay. coordination and getting it together, 
that's that's fine doing it straight. Okay. So. Um. <laughs> Just on the keys. That's cool. well, which keys should they be on? Well, I suppose on the keys that are on at the moment, are they? And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you don't want them down there. So it's just even if it's just just reaching. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Was that uh, we are there. Bar eleven. Right. So I'm going. G's going to kick in. Uh, it's, uh, which G might be? Yep. Then your left hand. Then your right hand. Then Back your left hand. F. Or your thumb for G. Mm, okay. Yep. Cool. That's that's good. That's right. good. I want to try you out very slowly, hands together on the top line as well. Okay. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And again, if it's easier just with the coordination doing it straight to start with, that's fine. Just go for two. Yep. Then that. Yeah, good. That C is going to go before yeah. that one. Then you've got that G. And that one's after. Good. Then that's still holding while that one comes in. And that one's in after. That's the same one. Yep. Yep. Only practice that in small chunks just to get the coordination. Right. So don't go, oh, I'm going to start at the start and go all the way down to the end of bar eight. Oh, that's, that's what I did try. <laughs> right, okay. Little little bits. Like even you could just do this first bit. Oh, actually, I'll do it straight. Just getting that much. Then you could... Little bits, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. So that will be a little bit harder to get together than the second half. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. New piece. All right. Haha. <laughs> it is fifth 
Avenue by Pamela Wedgwood. Yeah. And it's, it's over there. It's done that one. Right. Yep. Okay, yep. We will eventually throw in some pedal. Right. Which is one of the primary reasons I'm giving you this one. Actually, we should show how complicated it is. See, look at that. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yes, this is an extension one as well. All right. Yep. But it's got nice repeating patterns, which is one of the reasons I was giving it to you. So let's actually just work out your first bar, both hands. Okay. All right. And get our notes sussed first. All right. And then so we'll work out the bottom after that. So the first, this hand's going to have to start. Uh, there, it's going to start down there. Very good. Yep. Where it is, that's all right. Yep. So it cool. goes there in the left Good. hand. Um, oh, actually, that's where the bar is. Right. So the first finger's on C. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about that. And three. I think that's one further on, isn't it? Well, you, you, you actually in that five finger position. Yep. Yeah, it's a good way to think of it, actually. The spaces. Yeah. You've left out a space in between. So that one there, right, okay, yep. yes. So, so it's yeah, right. until the fifth. Right, right. okay. okay. Right. Now, and just... something's flat, but yeah. nothing in there yet. Nothing in there yet. Yep, I was going to get to that in a minute. Yep. How about you just play all of them at the same time? This is a chord. Okay, so it's... Oh, that way. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Great. Okay. Now... But they're not played at the same time. No, they're not, but we'll get to that in a minute. Your next pattern, if you have a look at that bar and that bar. Okay, so they... it's like shifted up one. Correct, great. So it's going to be down. Yep, and shift your right and hand up. And this one here is, oh, yeah, it's also one. Yep. Right. Cool. Now, as you spotted, there's a flat somewhere. Yeah. Um, I haven't hit him yet. Are you sure? Uh, well, what is he here? Yeah. Must be B flat. Correct, it is. Okay. Yep. Play that play. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there's a B flat because oh, that's okay. just below your C. So I will put that flat in from there. Okay. So all you've got to do is adjust. So, so this one's a bit down here. So yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And one. that's good, and you just need to make that. How do you do that? Uh-huh. That's going to be weird. Okay, well that is weird if you're going on point with your little finger like a ballet dancer. That's the only way to give a thumb up there. No, it's not. Right, first off, uncurl those fingers. Relax, relax, relax. Right, now, you're going to just go slightly higher on your F, and if you need to adjust... Hang on, I wonder if my hand's going to be... So it's... That's what just play middle so C, isn't it? So, so it thumbs just play middle C, yep. which is, is that one there. Yep. There's my thumb, so yeah. pop, pop your thumb up on that one. Right. right. Now, see how you're a little higher with your little finger, rather than being down there? Yeah. Okay. Play up a little higher there. Yeah, but I can't play those notes if I have to up there. You don't have to. Right, okay. But you can actually just... Well, that's actually quite good for the emplacement. Like, if I know I don't have to do it, I know... Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I mean, I can I can get my fingers in between. I know it's harder for guys with bigger fingers. But you can actually play that note yeah. without those going down. Oh, yeah. I suppose, yeah, yeah, okay, it's, yeah. It's doable. The main thing is you don't want to be... Uh, wait on there and having to go... Oh, uh, 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 right, with okay. weird wrists and things. Right, so, so you can play up a little up. higher. Yep. That's cool. Good. All right. So play that as a chord. That's a one, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice yeah, piece. Yeah. Okay. Then next pattern, it's the same. You go up one. So I'm going up to there. And I. X, oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yep. And I'm going up one again here. You are. I don't mind if you use your little finger on that one. That's okay. It's a change of finger there, but I think we can get away with just keeping that five. Oh, okay. So that's all right. Um, 
It's A. I have That's got that a. right. Yeah, okay, yep. yeah. Yep. So you've got your fifth pattern again. This is that. Yep. And then remember C and it's... And it's, it's, like it's a fifth also a fifth. You do want to use your third finger up on top for what's coming up next. Yep. Right. Cool. Okay. None of those are Bs. None of those are Bs. Right, no, yeah, okay, you're all good. Yeah. Great. Okay. So that pattern basically does, I'll just sneak in there. So you've got that, that, that. Yeah. Okay. And that happens quite a lot through the piece. Okay. All right. right we're only going to learn halfway. What you mean today, today, or you mean to, in no, the no, 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 today. Oh, We're okay, just going right. to get to there. <laughs> okay, so now we want to put the rhythm in. So you can see I've got the counting in there. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm counting quavers because that's. Probably easiest just to measure oh, yeah, those out. Okay, yeah. Yep. Right. So let's try those first three bars as it's written with that rhythm. Right, okay. So I wanted to get your pattern first. Yeah, okay. So yep. I'm looking at how much you know, what patterns. Okay, so it's like the C one. Basically, you're just adding them one at a time. Yeah. One, one, and two, and one and two and three and four and, and good. Yeah, hang on a minute. So actually that should have stayed down, shouldn't it? Down there, because that's going all the way to the end. And it rests there. Yes, technically. And actually what I did, it's not written like this, but because it's in pedal it's not going to make any difference. I actually just stayed on them. Right. Because you're going to have pedal with it, so right. it's 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 not going to be an issue. Right, so you don't need to bother with the first finger, right, okay. Nope, I would just, right. I would just sit on those. Okay, so we're back down to there, so it's going to be... And, and actually, yeah. also, it'll sound better when you're practicing it without pedal, because you have all the build up of sound. So you're sort of replicating what the pedal is going to do. Right. Yeah. So one and two and three and four and one and. And you go ahead to your flat. Uh, more than one of them. That do? Yep. So, so what I want to be doing it. No, so it's one and two. Just carry on with your right hand. And then we're going to go. So we go one higher. Yeah. And you've probably heard that one sound a little bit fishy as it normal be. Yeah. Want to do a. Hang on. Oh, it'll be that one. B flat. Yep. That's right. And that one is tied. Right, so. so you've got one and, and two. 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 With your fourth finger there, yeah. have it up again reasonably high just to make it easier to get to your little finger from there. Rather than being there and having to lurch up to get to your B flat. Right. 
So the higher up you are comfortably, the easier right. it'll be to get to your B flat. So you don't want to play your A down there. Yeah, you go, miles away. Right, right, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. That's it. Hold tight and then down. So we're good. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Then, what do you notice about that bar? Uh, it looks pretty similar to the first one. That one. Yeah, it looks pretty similar to the second one. That one. Uh, it looks nothing like any of the other ones. Sort of does. Mm. And your shapes. Mm, your shapes. Four bar notes, so those other ones are all crotchety, quavery things. Oh, well, well, look at your 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 chord outline and. Oh, okay, so it's a fifth thing. Fifth there, and it's actually it's gone down one from there. Right. Yeah. Cool. And the white one has gone. It's gone down one as well. Right. So, those notes there that you play all at the same time, are the same as those ones that you split. There. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. How do you tell the difference? You've got the pedal going. How do you how do you know the difference? How do you mean? Well, it's so exactly the same notes, right? But here they're played at the same time, and here mm -hmm. they're played differently. If you got the pedal down, you wouldn't notice the fact they're played differently, would you? Oh, uh, yes, you would. I'll, I'll, I'll play that bit for you in a minute. Right. There, you, you, you're staggering them. Oh, there's no pedal there, isn't there? Ah, oh, no, no, hang on. There it goes is. From there to there. No, 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 no. There is. Sim means simile. Short for carry on in the same way. Right, so the pedal's going still through there, so it just carries on down to the, you know, uh, the foot up there, do you? Nope, nope, you're going to keep pedaling oh. at the start of every bar. I've added another one in there myself. Oh, is that a pencil mark? That's a pencil mark. Ah, right, yep. oh, okay. And basically it's saying carry on pedaling in the same way. Right. You're pedaling at the start of every bar. I see. Which is more frequent than what you were doing for mm. the butterfly. Yep. Yep, yeah, okay. Yep. Still probably good to get that practice in. Cool. Yep. I think we'll just I'll just do that first bit. Up to those first eight bars. Okay. Because then there's eight bars in the middle, and then those last eight basically repeat the first eight. Okay. Woohoo! Which is very good. All right. Just in your left hand there, just check out those two notes, which will fit with so that's, those ones. Um, that's a B, third finger of a B. So it's there. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be flat. It will be flat. flat. Yeah. Very good. Yep. Um, so, this will be that. That one? And yep. Two, this will be one and two, two and, and three and four. And, and, and you're just going to bunch up your thumb for that one. So, that's just a step higher. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you're just going to see. Oh, yeah. Okay. The reason they're doing that. So, you're going up to C. Oh, that's flat. Yeah, flat. Yep, to okay, C. Yeah. And so, your fifth finger is. Nicely in position again to do that. So hang on, six, and that's. Oh, that, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's back to that one. Oh, yeah, yep. okay, I see. Yep. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll play those first two lines just okay. so yeah. you can hear. Yeah. In there. Okay, so it's up a little bit higher, but you'll get the gist. That sounds really cool. Pianist in no time. So that's pianist, <laughs> right? Okay. It's just a nice cruisy, right. yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of my adult students like that one. Yeah, it does sound quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. It sounds sounds quite complicated and, and quite sort of ooh, right. sophisticated, but it's actually not too bad when you sort of pull it apart and work out what it's right. doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, you've, you've, you've dispensed with the mystery for all my watches. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right. Fifth Ave. All right. So yep. you done, is it? Yep. Lovely. All right. Thank Excellent. you. No all worries. Right. Cool. Fifth Ave. Right. Cool.